Welcome to this UKFPO podcast, which explains the Placement Supervision Group. I'm Tony Chules, Chair of the Academy Foundation Programme Committee. Next slide. The Placement Supervision Group, or PSG, is a group of individuals allied to the Foundation Doctor's Placement who interact with the Foundation Doctor on a daily or weekly basis and who can provide constructive senior feedback on the doctor's clinical performance, both to the foundation doctor themselves and to the clinical supervisor. Next slide. The makeup of the placement supervision group will vary depending on the placement, but is likely to include doctors more senior than F2, including at least one consultant or GP principal, senior nurses, including practice nurses or nurse practitioners of band five or above, ward pharmacists and other allied health professionals. In a general practice placement, it is possible that the PSG may be limited to one or two GPs. Next slide. The roles of the PSG are observing the foundation doctor's practice in the workplace, undertaking and facilitating supervised learning events, providing contemporaneous feedback on practice to the foundation doctor, providing structured feedback to the clinical supervisor and raising concerns immediately if unsatisfactory performance by the foundation doctor has been identified. Next slide. In completing his or her end of placement report, the CSR, the named clinical supervisor should lose, use feedback from the placement supervision group. This process is important because within any placement, an individual healthcare professional is unlikely to build up a coherent picture of the overall performance of an individual doctor. The information provided by the PSG is different to that provided by multi-source feedback or TAB used in foundation as it relates to the clinical performance rather than simply professional behavior. Next slide. Formal PSG feedback is given via a structured form to help guide other professionals who may not be as familiar with the foundation program as educators directly involved with the training of foundation doctors. Members of the PSG can be invited by the clinical supervisor to complete the form via the ePortfolio. Next slide. To request PSG feedback in the Horus portfolio, select your foundation doctor from the trainer menu. Next slide. Open the foundation doctor's portfolio. Next slide. And select placement supervision group. Next slide. Select the placement you wish to obtain feedback for. Next slide. If the PSG member has a Horus account, you can simply type in their name. If not, you will need to nominate them using their email address. You can then send a feedback request. Next slide. You can review individual feedback, send reminders and create a summary by going back to the Manage PSG page. Please remember that those reviewing the outcome of the PSG must ensure the feedback is appropriate, fair, non-judgmental and free from bias. Next slide. Where possible, the PSG should be involved in each of the Foundation Doctors Clinical Supervisors reports, but at a minimum, formal feedback must be involved in one report at each level of Foundation training. Where there are significant concerns raised by the PSG about a foundation doctor's performance in one placement, at least one more clinical supervisor's report supported by evidence from a placement supervision group must be completed before the next critical progression point. Next slide. Thank you for listening to this UK FBO podcast explaining the placement supervision group. A fact sheet is available on the UK FBO website as is information on how to create a placement supervision group using the Cheeras portfolio.